Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna, where we share with you a lot of interesting and useful information from Benidorm town and Spain in general. Welcome to the Levante Beach on the weekend. Today's video is starting right at the beginning of the Levante Beach here in Rincon de Loich, near the hotel Nadal with the lovely views towards the Mediterranean Sea. We filmed this hotel, by the way, with an official tour for you as well, and you will be surprised how lovely the rooms are in a traditional Spanish style. So I'll leave you the link here down below so that you could see what this hotel has to offer. If you would love to be on the Levante Beach but are looking at the same time, slightly quieter space for you to stay. And surprisingly, this was once again unplanned video today. We wanted to go and film for you guys some more apartments and apart hotels. However, we've seen that there were quite a lot of people on the Levante Beach, so we decided to show it to you. Today is Saturday when we're filming this video. And even here at the end of the Levante Beach, or at the beginning, depends how you look at it, um, in these typical British bars, which are really, really popular, uh, the Baby Buddha and some others, there is quite a lot of people today. And these bars also have some nice offers for um, buckets, for different options with happy hours for cocktails, um, uh, different types of drinks, uh, also breakfast, lunch option, just any kind of snacks. For example, like this one, which is Beach Bar really really nice offers here and a lot of people came down here today even though it's slightly cloudy uh, and you can also already feel the humidity in, um, on the streets which is the typical thing here in winter uh, each time ooh, the Benny Connect bus this is one of the newer buses for Benny Connect this is the company that is working with a lot of the hotels here in the zone and they are basically bringing and to and from uh, hotels like the tourists from Alicante airport to a hotel and then on their way back on the last day of holidays as well. One of the most popular companies here in Benito. All these um, scuba diving and excursions place, this one here for example for private excursions, it says only for September, right now in October it's closed already. I suppose and this one here, he the jet, I think it's called, this one is closed as well. There in front we have one of the only companies that is still being open, uh, the Carlos Excursions. They still say here that they offer flying fish and like a lot of different um, options as well. However, I did not see anyone use it, so I suppose they offer it just to offer it, but uh, they're not doing this any longer. Parasailing as well, really, really popular uh, thing in here. Jet ski rental, this obviously is on because jet ski rental, you can do it any time of the year, even in winter, it doesn't really matter. Um, the sea is not as cold as it might be in other regions, so why not? You can still use them. The Bikini Beach bar as well, quite busy. Oh, they've brought some mobility scooters there on the right side. Bikini Beach Bar. Uh, by the way, what I was telling you about the humidity, you can see that on the back where the Poniente Beach is like the end of Benidorm, the skyline, there is slightly white air, like kind of a fog. It's actually not. This is the humidity uh, that is happening every single year uh, throughout second part of autumn and all the entire winter. Um, as soon as there is no sunshine and it's slightly cloudy or as soon as it's um, going towards the evening and the sun is down, uh, the humidity starts to kick in in our region, uh, which is why especially in winter it's way cooler than the temperatures are showing. The Hotel Brisa here as well. This is a four stars hotel with all the views, basically almost all the rooms are uh, overlooking towards the Levante Beach, so it's really nice. And by the way, it's slightly quieter hotel, I must say. It's not as big, so you can have uh, quite quiet holidays in here if you would like to. You can see, ooh, there's a lot of 
good right there. These are seagulls that I suppose I'm not sure if you can hear them screaming throughout the whole entire beach. The Benidorm's Island right there. And there is a sunshine. There is the sun is kind of shining, but at the same time there are quite a lot of clouds in here. It's not as cold right now as you might think. However, the humidity, as I've told you already, starts kicking in. So you need to wear like a cardigan or something just on top to be slightly more comfortable. Oh, there's some kind of party going on. Oasis Beach Club, by the way, this is a place that, um, it's a giant place. They use it for events mostly, but in summer, they're also open just for any kind of guests. Uh, they have some bar there and also a private swimming pool. So if you go there, you can use their swimming pool. Although, to be honest with you, who needs a swimming pool if you have a beach, basically um, a few meters from the bar where you are at. However, there are a lot of people that prefer swimming pools towards the beach area. Uh, so this might be a great option for you guys. By the way, we have a great news for you, which obviously I'm going to be repeating in the Monday's news update just so that everyone would know it. However, starting from this Friday already, Friday evening, they've published an official document which is stating that Spain is eliminating all restrictions. You know that for a couple of weeks already since the um, medical controls, uh, their contracts were not renewed at the airports. What happened basically is that legally, technically, you should still have like your documents with you to be able to travel, um, your certificates and stuff. However, there was no one checking for it. What is that? Just suddenly, suddenly there are some police cars accompanying, what, what are this? I think it's some kind of a motor concentration, some kind of a concentration in here. That is definitely random. We did not expect that on happening. See, this is what happens when you um, make things unplanned. Every single time we see something unusual in here. And I don't think everyone expected it. There was no news about this anywhere. But we are here. A lot of people came curious to feel what is actually going on. I think that's some kind of a group or a concentration here. There's However, all of them have a police, uh, like police sirens installed in them. Suppose it's some kind of a private club. But if the police is accompanying them, then it's like an official event. Huh, not bad at all. Have something random today. <laughs> oh my god, people are laughing so much because there is like. I'm not sure if it's planned. If it's planned. See, there's a lot of people <laughs> laughing. I'm not sure if it's planned, but there's like a random bicycle going behind them at the end to film it. I'm not sure if it's like a part of the group. However, it should be on a motorcycle, but or it's just random people filming all this you know, like mini tiny parade going on in here. But it's definitely quite funny. You kind of don't expect the tiny bicycle finishing up the parade for huge motorcycles with police sirens but it's fun to watch definitely a lot of people were filming it as well just out of curiosity by the way here we have uh, wanted to show you these are the palm trees that grow on the Levante beach and a lot of palm trees have these type of fruit which are called dates in Spanish, it's dátiles, but these ones that are just growing here down the street, these ones are not used for food. Although there are other ones that are being uh, grown basically in order to um, use them for food and dessert purposes. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of tourists with children right now, by the way. It has slightly changed. Before we had like more couples or uh, children free, let's call it like this, um, families. But right now, I suppose it's because there's some kind of holidays in UK, if I'm not wrong, uh, which is why there are a lot of families with children in here that are speaking English. Let's check the menu here in one of the popular Spanish places, La Ballena Azul. Uh, and here, obviously, I think it's in uh, Holland, in like Netherlands um, language, I'm not sure. But they put 12.50 more or less the menu here, right on the first line of the Levante beach. Huh. 
that's not as bad at all 1250 for a full meals here with these lovely views it's kind of a good price then we have these newer places the bulldog drinks and food here they have typical english breakfast they have cocktails uh, full plates as well uh, beer tap beer and ribs barbecue half of ribs eight euros they say there and 16 euros full like huge piece chunk of ribs steaks as well i can see so they have a lot of different options in here just some place to eat with lovely views and um quite fast you know while you're exploring benito the uh, hotels that we have here nearby la bahia these are uh, apartments by the way as well this is a park hotel they have this cafeteria right here which is their own they have an offer there 3.95 for a cake and coffee mm, i don't know it's i think it's slightly expensive there are some cheaper offers here pizzas we have some typical spanish meals like shrimps and garlic calamars croquetas rices like you can find a lot of traditional spanish meals in here However, I will always, always recommend you to check the place beforehand because there might be cheaper and better options for your holidays so that you wouldn't need to waste a lot of money for it. Hello. Hey. Well, now you are on my YouTube. <laughs> this is so nice. Uh, almost every single time when we go and film videos here in Benidorm, we meet at least one couple or one group of subscribers of our channel. Uh, this is so lovely. Last time when we met our subscribers, we were just uh, walking around Benidorm and we went to a pet shop in Benidorm city center at the end of Mediterranean Avenue, which was totally random. But even there, we met some of our lovely subscribers, the whole entire family, which was really, really nice. Oh, and today was always no exception. Uh, we are always happy to meet you guys and it just makes us keep going and staying positive, you know, and willing to do even more videos for all of you who are watching this channel. If you still did not subscribe, subscribe, please do so. It's free for you, but for us, it's a giant step. Once we will hit 10,000 subscribers, YouTube will promote even more our videos, so we will be able to reach um, a bigger audience and help more people to get some valuable information for Benidorm town and Spain in general. So subscribe if you still did not do so. Uh, and here we are. I'm going to show you this supermarket. This supermarket has opened during pandemics. I even went there inside and I've asked them, do they have like Br British supermarket? Because they advertise themselves like London supermarket, you know. So I went there, I've asked them and, uh, ooh, it's right there, did not expect that. I've asked them and they said, no, we don't have any kind of British uh, goodies. And I've said, well, why you're a London supermarket then? Uh, so basically they do it just for marketing purposes, but it's just a normal supermarket for you guys. And there is some nice shop here for clothing, uh, Natura. It's not the only one. They have it also in the Mediterranean Avenue, like center of Benidorm. Then you have these type of shops, Chinese shops, where you can still buy some things for the summer um, or any kind of things that you did not want to bring with you with uh, luggage when you were traveling here because obviously, you know, flight restrictions with the luggage are getting harder and harder each day. So if you can buy something here, you can do so. The prices are quite nice in Chinese shops still. The jungle bar slash pub, I uh, don't know how to call it, but before I've seen it quite empty, but today uh, the terrace is quite alive, I must say. Mostly uh, groups of people, friends, couples are coming in here. It's like more modern type of style place. But the one that is truly full today, and it's usually always full, especially in summer, it's like totally packed is this one here this is the tiki beach place this one i always see it full there's barely like one or two tables left right now they have a dj which they'll probably start just right now the dj session going on um 
but just look at it. Almost all the tables are occupied. They put some television and some football matches on the huge screens, but there is a DJ there right off the DJ table to just um, give you some nice vibes during this weekend evening. This was the lovely Levante Beach on weekend, and as you can see, this place transforms itself. If on a normal work day it was really empty right now during weekend the levante beach alley is full back again and all the most popular touristic places as you can see are really really busy thank you all for having this lovely informative walking tour down benito levante beach and i'll see you in the next video bye